Our journey is well underway, and we should be home in a fortnight. By pure luck, we have discovered the notorious Pirate Isles. These pirates have been raiding the coast of Lord Elberon's kingdom for years, and it is my duty to find and eliminate their leader before continuing my journey. Hello everybody, welcome back to Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross, and this is Heroes of Might Magic 2, the expansion campaign, Voyage Home. We're on Scenario 2, Pirate Isles. Find and defeat Martin, the pirate leader. He resides in Pirate's Cove. Do not lose Gallivant or your quest will be over. We have a choice of basic pathfinding, basic navigation, or 15 sulfur. I think basic navigation is probably what we want, since the scenario is called Pirate Isles. Probably going to be a lot of sailing. So I'm going to take basic navigation. Let's go. Aha. Uh, it's a big old map. Great. Can we upgrade this to a castle? We can, and we shall. Cool. Beware of pirates. Thanks. From the observation tower, you're able to see distant lands. Kaboom. Oh, there's nothing for miles. Stone liths. I don't like stone liths very much. Okay, start collecting these resources. Uh, that's an okay amount of stuff. We can use it to build. Should be smart about building. Can build a cave first. So we're not going to have access to a lot of resources. Um, I think a crypt would be good. The name of the castle is Waystop. Wait, stop! You jerk! Do you start with a spellbook? Of course we don't. What happened to the Galavan of last... last scenario? Where's the Galavan of yesteryear? Yeah, all this stuff is a little bit more important than dungeons and statues, I think. Alright, that's probably all we can build. Significant buildings, I mean. Leo, about his uh, Japan map, says, I'm also adding events based on the Japanese folklore. There's even a kappa? Uh-oh. <laughs> you hear rumor from a peasant who lives in the town of Waystop. He says, the pirates control most of the sulfur mines in this area. They use it for the cannons on their bigger boats. If you want a mine, you'll have to defeat them. You talk like an asshole. <laughs> Also, thank you for the helpful information. <laughs> Week of the Condor. All dwellings increase population. <coughs> Excuse me. Might regret that later, but that's for later. You're just excited about your map. No, oh, you should be. I'm excited for it. I want to play it. All right, let's go exploring. Search through the flotsam and find some wood and some gold. Wow, ten wood. It's pretty good. It's pretty good wood. We can trade some of this wood.
The lighthouse is now under your control. All your ships will now move further each turn. Fighting the boars, fighting the boars. Griffins always get attacks back. That's crazy. Okay, lost some stuff, that's okay. Enter Rickety Hut and talk to the magician who lives there. He tells you of places near and far which may aid you in your journeys. Boom. Ooh. Looking through this little eyeball here. Ore and wood. What the heck is that? I don't know what that is, but it scares me. Lots of works. Could probably take them. Oh, too much trouble. The note in this bottle has become mostly indecipherable. All you can make out are references to deadly pirates and hidden gold mines. Alright, thank you, I guess. take any damage. The centaurs, I mean. the gargoyle. Much needed ore. Merchant from far away lands, trades you and a uh, new invention of his people. Wow, let me reread that. That's a very awkward sentence. A merchant from far away lands trades you a new invention of his people for traveling supplies. A merchant from far away lands trades you a new invention of his people for traveling supplies. It makes distant objects appear closer and he calls it a telescope. That was strangely worded. All right, let's go get reinforcements.
It's a decent amount. Uh, you know, we have enough now for a dungeon. Give us more gold per turn. Ooh, a shipwreck survivor. Let's see what bullshit he gives us today. Pull the shipwreck survivor from certain death in an unforgiving ocean. Gratefully, he rewards you for your act of kindness for giving you the fire cloak. Yeah. It's just like a new invention of his people f or his people are for traveling supplies. Like, I, I don't understand what the grammatically what the sentence was actually was trying to say there. Lots of pikemen. Yeah, all right. Probably wasn't smart. And just for a couple of chests, I don't know. take the gold this time actually I'm gonna build a dungeon this is the income of the town by 500 a day cool I don't know what this artifact does but it scares me. Hope it's not a cursed artifact. Leprechaun offers you the masthead with a small price of 2,500 gold and three gems. This is your luck and morale by one each in the sea combat? Sure. Probably going to be doing a lot of that. Of the bumblebee. Uh oh. A group of tattered tents billowing in the sandy wind beckons you. Do you wish to have nomads join you during your travels? Yes. Yeah, I'm just going to trade some stuff. Build a statue... somehow. That should do it. You better run. The magical soothing beauty of the mermaids reaches you and your crew. Just for a moment, you forget your worries and bask in the beauty of the moment. The mermaids' charms bless you with increased luck for your next combat.
After spending hours trying to fish the chest out of the sea, open it and find 1,500 gold. Sick. Men spotted navigational buoy, confirming that you are in course and increasing their morale. the sulfur. Let's go get it. Come across a small shrine attended by a group of novice acolytes. In exchange for your protection, agree to teach you a simple spell. View resources. Not supremely helpful. Hell yeah! Magic arrow. Great spell. blue again. Unsure if I want to uh, take this necromancer town. Where are you going? skip taking the town for now. See if I can deal with blue. Right? Yep. What's through this whirlpool? Oh, baby! There's a lot of stuff over here. Glad I went through this. I just found blue. Uh, 
sirens. You lose a bunch of troops, but something good happens, I think. Eerie wailing song emanates from the sirens perched upon the rocks. Many of your crew fall under its spell and dive into the water where they drown. You're now wiser for the visit and gain 10 experience. That's not worth it at all. Whatever. Whatever. Round Traveler's Town. Round Keyboard's Necromancy. too distracted with exploring I think oh there's blue wait where is that oh, that's on the other side of this island okay no where he is Trade for some gems. I want to build a maze. Oh, I don't think so, Scooter. Shit. <coughs> Excuse me. Tyro. Not Phineas, but Tyro. Well, the cards is handy. I should take a states. I'm gonna take a states. I'm gonna get back on my boat.
Might be okay with green dragons for now. Until we actually find sulfur mines. I found a blue castle. I find a note in the bottle that reads, My ship has been wrecked by the notorious pirates in this area. I'm stranded on a small and barren island. Please, I beg you, come and rescue me. Okay. Where are you? Uh... Okay. There's Phineas. He must have another castle up there or something. This is doable. Got him. Mage guild here? Of course not. Let's build one. Maybe I will actually start taking some of these towns. Take the warlock ones. Start building up some wealth. Well, not if he's gonna be there. Take out Martine. Don't know where Martine is.
do find it interesting that in something that's supposed to be piratey and stuff like that, dealing with pirates, choosing Warlock as the alignment for the map is an interesting choice. I think it'd be Barbarian. Magic124, welcome back to the chat. Great to see you. It says, thinking about buying these, are they like RTS games? I can't play RTS because they stress me out. Uh, the Heroes of Might Magic games, they're, they're turn-based, not real-time. Turn-based strategy. Turn-based strategy games with a fantasy element and a killer soundtrack. I'm going to wait a day, get the gargoyles, and then go back to that island where the uh, the nomad tents are and get some more nomads. You want to empty your wallet and the games are cheap. <laughs> yeah, they're really inexpensive on GOG. And thank God for that because more people should be playing Here's My Magic Games, specifically this one. I think. This is where I want to go. I want to go to there. Just exploring. Oh, shipwreck survivor. The spike shield. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, Magic, once you first talking about story-based games is, you know, after you play a bunch, you sort of see a pattern developing among them. That's sometimes true. <coughs> like certain hero tropes and whatnot. Oh, crap. One moment. Coffee ground. I'm a coffee cup. Switching over to water. Barryman says I have to lurk for a few. Wasn't paying attention. Is Pirates tough or hit or miss? Um, Phineas is kind of tough. He's got a lot of stuff. Right now he's over here. He went sailing up there. I'm just trying to explore and figure out where the best place to go might be. I really should cast view resources to find out where the sulfur mines are.
nothing on this island? If you play a story-based RPG once, you get to that point, play for the mechanics. In that case, you might as well not play it unless it's actually unique. But two I can get into, and that's because I love them. The Witcher and the Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Uh, this game here, Heroes of Might and Magic, is, it's not story-based. Every map is like, explore it, find your enemies, kill them. Um, there's really no story involved. <laughs> so it is very much like an exploration mechanics type game. What spells do you cast? Which uh, units do you prioritize? That sort of thing. You're just ranting? No, these aren't... Yeah, okay. That's alright. Ranting's allowed. I can always trade for more sulfur. Like this. I really should be upgrading these to black dragons. Everybody wants you to like RTS games, you just can't. Um, yeah, so definitely no StarCraft or Warcraft or anything. Like Warhammer a lot. Yeah, Warhammer's a great game. That would be a good one to, to do if you weren't getting so stressed over it, over them. Yeah, so going with green dragons, I'm not comfortable with that decision anymore. Let's try going up against Phineas again. Let's see what happens. We have 10 dragons now. Hey, come back here. Oh, there's an ore mine. And a crystal mine. Uh oh. I got too close to him. He's gonna attack me. Nope. Hey, who's this? Frodo. I will fight you for these. Trying to steal my boat. It might zap me and run, but... Oh no, he's sticking around. I had to play co-op with you, I had to do first battle alone and total war. Couldn't find composure when playing these, yeah. Yeah, I remember the story. You, you told me about this. Your buddy should have been there. A little more present for you. I'm gonna take Pathfinder.
God, Phineas is coming back and he's gonna be angry. Another shipwreck survivor. Ooh, the true compass of mobility. Ship it. It's one of the best artifacts in the entire game. Be their mainland. I don't know if I wanted to do that, but I did it. It's not attacking me. That's interesting. We can beat Phineas. I think it would open up a lot of avenues for us to explore the rest of the map. This map isn't that big when it seemed at the beginning. It's not that big when you have all those artifacts letting you travel further by sea. This is doable. We're going to lose a lot, but it's doable. I wish I knew the blind spell. I really, really do. There's so much more water than land. Yeah. You do... Oops, I just punched my mic. Home run! You do typically move faster at water than on land, just like in real life. In the medieval era. Has any spells. Shit. Crystalline structures cast shadows over a small reflective pool of water. You, you peer into the pool and a face that is not your own peers back. It asks, Would you like to call upon the powers of water? Yes, I would. Can I recruit Phineas? I would really like to. No, it doesn't look like I can. You know what? Let me just start getting trolls.
Excuse me, jeez. So we upgrade it now. We're gonna have to trade for all the other all the other sulfur. I'd rather not do it. I'd rather have green dragons. Oh, an arena. Hello. I think our spell power needs a lot of help. of the lizard. You enter the arena and face a pack of vicious lions. You handily defeat them to the wild cheers of the crowd. Impressed by your skill, the aged trainer of gladiators agrees to train you a skill of your choice. Attack, defense, or spell. We have spell power. Soldiers living in the fort teach you a few new defensive tricks. Plus one on defense. As you approach the stables, the head groom appears leading a fine-looking warhorse. He would help speed you in your travels. The lasses and dirts will wane with a lot of heavy riding. You must return for a fresh mount in a week. Cool. I think they also upgrade cavaliers to champions. Might be done with centaurs. Has got dragons. What the hell? Sir Gallant looking for Martine. Where's that curmudgeonly curmudgeon? I think I am done with them.
Hmm. I'll wait one more week. None of you are Martine. So... I'm gonna keep exploring. Dragons for sure. Griffins for sure. Minotaur kings, I think. Gargoyles. The centaurs are just not for us anymore. I don't want to have to step foot on that island if I don't have to. Even if there is a sulfur mine there. Ooh. I need to find the blue traveler's tent, apparently. There's the blue traveler's tent. You know I don't know why I have just three water elementals. I forgot I got those. Alright, this should be fun to explore. I'm just gonna send uh, Astra around. Make sure there's no surprises. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, we just trade our water elementals from Minotaur Kings, we find another water summoning table. It's alright. We enter the tent and see an old woman gazing into a magic gem. She looks up and says, In my travels I've learned much in the way of arcane magic. Great Oracle taught me a skill. I have the answer you seek. The blue keyword is Medusa. Sick. After scouring the area, follow upon a hidden chest containing the ancient artifact, Medal of Distinction. Actually, I'm gonna go here first. To save Oster some time. Lonely Island over there. I 
I'm happy that that's the theme we're listening to most of the time. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Where do I want to land? I want to land right here. Martine! Coming for you. Big bloated bastard. So what does this castle have? Black dragons, of course. Sneak. Martine. Where are you? Uh-oh. <laughs> Probably gonna be like a billion, 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 billion. Oh, 15. All right. I can handle this. 74 Hydra is gonna be a problem. 112 Griffins is a huge issue. A Mark team looks like they are of perhaps maybe a female persuasion? I don't know. Nice. All right. All right. It's happening. Things are going. It's shaking. It's moving. Poor trolls. Nice. I want to wait till it crosses the bridge. I want to surround it. Enough of this. Can't attack it from the top. All right. Attack from the rear. Let's do it. This is the last round. Just to make sure of that. Wait, does he have a shield on him? No, I'm just going to hack him. Goodbye. We did it.
Capture Pirate Cove, you're victorious. I arrived home last night under the cover of a heavy fog. My cousin met me on the beach. He explained that a civil war had broken out while I was away. To my dismay, the leader of the rebellion is my sister, the Necromancer, with whom my family ties are very strong. Now I must decide. Should I remain loyal to my Lord Elberon, who has treated me honorably in my years of service, or acknowledge the more ancient bond of blood and fight for my sister's cause? Interesting. Very, very interesting. So in the next episode, we're going to get a choice to defend king and country or decide that blood is thicker. Really interesting. Huh. Really interesting. Twitch chat, what do you guys want to see me do? Should we fight for king and country def and defend Lord, e uh, what's the Lord Eberron? Alberon. Or should we usurp the throne? Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do blood is thicker next time. Just going to do an outro for YouTube. Well, thank you for. Thank you all for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. This has been Heroes of Might and Magic 2 Expansion Campaign Voyage Home. Next is the final scenario. See you in the next episode. Bye. All right. I'm going to take a short break, I think.